I will tell you, I met Chris a while ago. He's one of the best guys that I met since I've been in the USA. One of the nicest guys ever. And he really cares about you getting the results. He is not a franchise. He doesn't care about your profits. He cares about you doing what I did, switching to full-time business. Man, just if you can make the same amount of money working for yourself as your job, it's worth it. In today's video, my buddy Marco talks about how he went full-time in his striping business in a short period of time, as well as how he went from making $60 a day working for someone else to striping basketball courts full-time, making over $1,000 a day from the marketing techniques that he learned in the How to Stripe course. We also talk about the paint you're gonna need, the equipment that's necessary, what to charge, stenciling, and much, much more. Also, if you watch until the end, Marco is gonna give some insight into what he has learned so far that has allowed his business to grow so fast. But if you're interested in learning more about striping, how to get customers, and much, much more, be sure to check out the How to Stripe course. It will be the first link in the pinned comment section and the description. All right, let's get to the video. All right, Marco, if you can, tell me about how you got started painting basketball courts. Yes, sir. So I arrived to USA about a year ago in June, and I was working at a, at a cleaners locally, and it was only about 12 bucks an hour. I was working for five, or five hours a day. So that's a total of like 60 bucks minus gas and whatnot and taxes, and it was just a dead-end job. And I thought that I was smarter than my manager, so, you know, one day I was just like, screw it, I'm going to do my own thing, and I quit. But I thought that one thing was going to be curb address because I met a guy that was doing it, and he said, hey, man, you know, you can make good money with this. So I started knocking on doors for 25 bucks and knock on 50 doors. Nobody said, you know, hey, I want to do it. Can you do it a little bit cheaper? It's like, no, 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 this guy screwed me over. It's like so much emotional baggage around 25 bucks. So I kind of gave up on that idea, but while I was giving out flyers, this lady in, uh, in the neighborhood next to me, she was like, you know, my husband is so busy. We have this stencil for basketball, you know, can you come in and try parkour? You had sprays, right? I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, I can do it for 60 bucks. The, the biggest, like never underestimate how wrong you can be. It took me about six hours and she ended up tipping me about 150 bucks because she thought that it was worth it and I did an amazing job and I said, okay, sure, I'm just gonna post it on Facebook Marketplace, see what happens. And I kind of forgot about it. A day later, I start getting about three, four messages a day. Hey, you know, can you come to my place? Can you strike my cord? And I said, okay, 150 bucks. They're like, okay, sure, come on. And all of a sudden I was doing maybe a cord a day, two cords a day, and that was, that was like three months ago. That was not, it, it was not, it wasn't, like I was not serious about it. I was still like doing my curb address thing for 25, 30 bucks. And then I realized, hold on a minute, there's a demand here. And I look up on Facebook Marketplace, nobody's doing it. So I, I started boosting ads on Facebook Marketplace for like five bucks a day. And, and then we did the one with the Jordan. It just blew up because people loved it so much. They loved the design and I would invest five bucks and I would get like five, five to 10 messages a day. It was, it was crazy. And then I decided that I should start a, a Facebook page because at one point I know that Google is gonna shut down the service ads on Facebook Marketplace. And so I just utilized Facebook Marketplace as long as I could, but then they shut down my ads and I realized, okay, it's good. I have this backup plan. And then I had to learn how to run ads. So I met, I met Chris on YouTube and you know, in, in his stri How to Stripe course, there was also like how to run, uh, Justin was talking about how to run Facebook ads and whatnot. So I utilized that knowledge to be able to run the ads off of my Facebook page, not off of Facebook Marketplace. You, you had a full-time job. Yes, you're sir. working that full-time job. Mm -hmm. You're making 60 bucks a day. You're grinding it out. Day, you're yeah. doing what normal people do, That's right. right? Working a full-time job, mm -hmm. going to work, coming home. And then you realize that you need to make more money. Mm -hmm. And so what you start doing is you start painting curb addresses, mm -hmm. which is working out just a little bit, but it's not really a full-time income, more like a no. side hustle. No, totally. And then you find a niche. I mean, you find a specific product that you can market and sell that's obviously untapped. Untapped, that's the key, untapped. Yeah, because nobody would do it. People buy these uh, cardboard 
stencils from like Murray Sport or whatever the company's name is that you can get on Amazon for like 200 bucks, 180 bucks. And I realized I'm going to do it for the same price, but I'm going to make a hundred bucks an hour. And so they don't have to do it. Plus it's, it's going to look good because I do it full time. Like I'm, I'm a professional guy. That's amazing. So, so you're full, you're, you're, you've since quit your job and this is all I you went full time within two weeks. All right. So how much money can I make each day from doing basketball courts? Tell you what, man, I, I charge between two and three. I charge between two and 300 for a single half court. And it takes me about an hour and a half to get one done. So you can do a math. It depends on how many, uh, how much ads you're running, how much you're investing in that. So that's going to determine your, your lead flow. But today we are doing a full court that, uh, that Chris is going to show you. We're doing two half courts and Jordan, a six foot Jordan. That one is going to be a $500 one. And we pressure washed it beforehand and that is $140. And we are doing another one today that is essentially the same with the Jordan and a full court. So we are looking at around about 1150 bucks. About 1150 bucks for about eight hours of work total. About eight hours of work. Interesting. So you're going to make a, over $1,000 in just over eight hours of work. And two months ago, I was doing 60 in a day. Two months ago, you were making $60 a day. Yeah. And now you're doing two of these courts a day, correct? Uh -huh. So you're That's making $1,000 right. a day working four to five days a week. So you're pulling about four grand a week just off of basketball courts because no one else is doing it. And the really good thing about it is you can get all of these you can call them lower ticket deals where you're doing somebody's court and you know, you're doing Jordan and you're doing curb addresses. And let's say you want to do a curb address, but say, hey, you know, it's 40 bucks, but I'm going to do it for free. Leave me a Google review, but then have your clients targeted towards, uh, hey, you know, this guy helped do parking lot for a company. And so long story short, it's once again, what Chris is teaching about building up your uh, Google business profile and having a lot of reviews and you become the go to a company in your area, the way that you get that is by having a whole bunch of reviews. Uh, and that's essentially what I started doing. So I started collecting reviews. I got the Google business profile and now I, I already started having calls about parking lots and I've done, I've done that. Yeah. See, and, 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 and I wasn't even here 10 minutes walking the site with you and you're running through how to paint this court and you're already getting calls for parking lot striping jobs. I set up my business profile about a week ago and as Chris pulled up uh, to, to shoot the whole video, somebody called me up from an HOA saying, hey, you know, we got this three car parking spot, whatever it is, and we were like a, a, a quote and we were like a bid. So I never had that in the past. And now I can get into doing something that is more high ticket like parking lots. Yeah, see, and you started with curb addresses, you got the how to stripe course, and now since you do basketball courts, you have since added striping to your list of services. You've essentially taken what you've learned from the training, how to run Facebook ads, optimizing a GMB profile, and these different methods of getting customers. And as a result of implementing what you've learned from the training, you're making a thousand dollars plus a day. And that is with, with only courts. That is not, just courts. That is not like parking lots that I'm receiving from all the reviews from Google. And so one of the things that Chris really teaches that is incredible in the how to market uh, package is how to get those high paying clients without having, you know, a presence on Google and without like call calling and whatnot. And like you reach out to this massive amount of people in five minutes and you start getting calls right away. Well, I'm, that's the next phase. That's what I'm going to do. I saw that working for him. And the reason I waited is because I wanted some social proof with Google. So like if somebody looks up my company, Hey, this company, so-and-so, you know, I got an email, what are they all about? So they can see all the reviews, the, Man, that's what it's about. Interesting, interesting. You go from making 60 bucks a day to $1,000 a day plus and by just in, simply- In profit. In profit, just by simply yeah. implementing what you've been taught in a training course. And once you start striping, bro, you're gonna, you're gonna see that 
thousand dollars a day turn into 3k a day 5k that's a day, right that's why I'm, that's why i'm doing this i'm building yeah. up google so i can get those clients that are high paying perfect perfect now if you can let's do a uh a walkthrough on the equipment that we're going to need can you kind of show me the kind of equipment that we're going to need absolutely well first and foremost we pressure wash this one so there is a, a pressure washer right there it's 42,000 psi simpson we got a surface cleaner i got that when it loads for like 130 bucks because obviously, obviously you're going to want to pressure wash the ground so you make sure the paint sticks. That's right. That's okay. right. So that's an upsell in itself, right? Yeah. Uh, a whole bunch of paint. What kind of paint are we going to use for We are this? looking at parking lot striping paint and absolutely Rust-Oleum, Rust-Oleum, Rust-Oleum. Striping paint, not inverted marking paint. We are talking parking lot striping paint. It's because the one that, that has this logo. That's the one that, that sticks the longest. So you've tried uh, regular traffic paint through striping machines and it peels up so that you know that that's the type of paint that needs to be used. That's the one that doesn't chip. That's the one that is the only paint that has a minimum temperature but not the maximum. What that means is a lot of the parking lot striping is done at night because asphalt has to cool down uh, below 90 degrees which means that the air has to be like below 70 or something like that right because mm. asphalt and, and concrete just just warms up a lot more. And the problem with that is that means you're only going to stripe a cord at 7 a.m. and maybe 10 p.m. But like, how are you going to build a business on that? This is the only paint, the inverted striping paint from rust is the only one that doesn't have a maximum temperature to apply. And man, it is the most durable thing. You just know rust sticks to everything. Interesting, interesting. So you now- You can barely get it off. Interesting. So now we've got our surface prep, we have our pressure washer, our surface cleaner, and we have our Rust-Oleum paint cans. Mm -hmm. uh, so now now what? Are we going to, is there a tape machine or chalk or something like that we can go look so at? We will, we'll need, yeah, we'll need chalk line, obviously. Also, this is a really good thing if you're out in the field and you're doing a cord and pressure washing the same day. This is going to, like, you have to broom and get, like, that thick layer of, of water like like a small pond that builds up and somewhere because the terrain is not even so you need to like broom that off okay so as far as the, the equipment you really need stencils like that that one is jordan that's all handmade the jordan stencil you 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 made that by hand and then these that you do your outer edges you made that by hand as well yes sir yeah you you cannot get that online if you go to like a print print store you they will charge you about 300 bucks for it uh and they will say that it's copyrighted, it's owned by Nike, whatnot. Um, this is essentially what you need it for when you do all the tape. You need it to cover the tape so there is no overspray. No overspray. Yeah. So that's why that is important. And you need that for all of these. So you need three types. You need this one for the, for the three-point line. You need this one, which is a little bit more curvy it's for this one. And then you need just, uh, just a straight one for all the straight lines. So, uh, and this is the tape machine. I mean, obviously we don't do this by hand, but is this, is this, is this is essentially your main tool, correct? This is my, this is my biggest investment so far is 220 bucks. $220. And that is so you're able to tape the edges and then go along with a curve. So essentially we're able to, this turns, correct? Yeah. 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 So essentially you draw the line and just for the demonstration purposes, let's do this one you tape it and then push it and so when you that's pop it. your chalk line that's pretty much it so you know exactly where you're gonna go when you're doing it what else is in this toolbox so we've covered the stencils you're gonna need we've covered the type of paint that we're gonna have to have our tape machine you would say that this tape machine is essential for doing these. it projects. is essential I did you do not have to if you're just getting started you do not have to have it you will you can start with just doing everything manually and just laying down the tape manually um, with uh, the putty knife but I would say I did maybe first 10 or 15 just by hand and just by squatting and I was wearing shoes and I would say this is another piece of equipment. Just get, just get some cheap slippers, something that, that is going to be comfortable for you for squatting and like just working all day long. Um, I see a, I see a, a square. You're gonna this square one is yet. also important for doing 90 degree angles like right here. That's what that's used for. 
Okay, so to just make sure that your free throw line is straight, you would just use that square That's to create right. that line. That's right. And then in your toolbox, essentially, I mean, it's not really too complicated. I see some drills, a respirator. Uh, you want to talk safety for a second? Like, yeah, do I need absolutely. to be, have a respirator while absolutely. I'm using this? Absolutely, I would get a respirator. We didn't, um, on the footage that Chris is going to show you, we, I didn't use it because we were shown on the drone time, but this is an absolute must. I started using this too late. You will start have having like lung issues really fast if you're a painter and you're not using PPE. I would say also gloves. Um, I work with acetone for any excess overspray or anything like that. So you just acetone and a metal brush. This is your go-to for all the finish. Metal brush, okay, so. You need drill for all kinds of stuff, obviously. This is also a really good one, a rubber hammer for like smacking down uh, the tape on the edges mm -hmm. if you really need to so there isn't like paint bleed like so that is really really important and I would say chalk line with chalk is absolute like it's an essential it is an essential there's a lot of straight lines you just need it and obviously if you're working alone there's somebody that's gonna need to hold the other side of the string so mm -hmm. I just use this to the weight to hold it yeah, down to hold it down. Okay, so minimal investment. If I need a toolbox just to get started, what what am I looking at? Really, you don't even need a toolbox to get started. I would say 50 bucks. Just get started. Do the first work. Ask somebody to do it for free. Get some pictures. Post it on Facebook. Get it up and running. And really, the only thing you need is uh, about two sprays. You need maybe 1.2 cans per job. Per quart. Okay. So that and means how many, you will how, need minimum how, two. So I need 1.2 cans. I need I need one and a half cans for a quart. Mm -hmm. And then how much tape? Like just to do one quart, what is this going to cost me in supplies? And then how the, much am I going to make? The math for the, the scotch blue tape is about 2.3 tapes per quart, per half quart. So we're looking at about 12, 13 bucks for tape and about 12 bucks for for the, the, the paint as well. Wow, so time. with under 50 bucks in supplies, it's gonna cost you essentially to work all day long. You're gonna make $1,100 today and it's gonna cost you $50 to, to completely, it's gonna cost you $50 to successfully complete the jobs that you got lined up for today. Did I mention that 99% of the work is cash? That's nice. We just put it like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that. Sure, yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> okay, so we have our tape roller. That's gonna be essential for getting started. Obviously, you didn't start with that, but you knew the more and more quartz that you had coming in, you had to get a, uh, a tape roller, right? Two weeks in, I knew that, that I was gonna do it full time, and, and there was just so much demand and referrals and people hitting me up on Facebook. I just realized I had to get it. So you've, you've since then, since you started, you've quit your job, you've been three months at this full time, mm -hmm. averaging about $1,000 a day, you're pulling five grand a week, and now, and now you're booked out. Last time, I, last time I asked you, you said you were booked out until next week, I mean, every single day. That's right, and I get new messages every single day. And that's the thing, it's like when you can travel to different cities, you're in like an hour out, but if you can, you know, schedule a couple of were a couple of jobs in the same area for the same day, then like you're golden. Like interesting. So well Marco, we're we're glad. Thanks for coming on the channel. Absolutely. And uh, it's inspiring to watch you grow and want to say thanks for taking the how to stripe course. And if I could ask you this, people who are on the fence, they're on the edge, they they they're not sure if it can work for them. From a, a person that goes from making 60 bucks a day to $1,100 a day, not only from the skill set that you acquired from the How to Stripe course, but also your diligence and also your diligence and your work ethic. What would you say to somebody that might be on the fence of starting their own business or contemplating grabbing the course? If you're on the fence and you're like, I don't know if I should, then don't, it's not for you. It is for people that actually want to make a change in their life. And that 60 bucks a day, switching to this, which was 200 a day at the time, it was a no-brainer. I was just like, that's what I'm gonna do. And it was a no-brainer. I decided I'm gonna risk it all. I'm gonna quit before I figure it out because it made sense. I started getting a lot of traction. If you're not that type of person, then don't do it. If you are, I will tell you, I met Chris a while ago. He's one of the best guys that I met since I've been in the USA. One of the nicest guys ever. And he really cares about you getting the results. He is not a franchise. He doesn't care about your profits. He cares about you doing what I did. 
switching to full-time business man just if you can make the same amount of money working for yourself as your job it's worth it it's totally worth it all right brother just having that peace of mind all right brother well i really appreciate it thanks for coming on the channel oh, and will, uh man. we look forward to seeing more courts and uh absolutely. collaborating with you uh on some parking lots absolutely take Let's care get it.